All right, everybody, welcome to episode two of Undisputed Boxing Career Mode. We are where we left off last time with Lucas the Myth Dimitri. Last time out, we made it all the way through the amateur circuit, so now we'll be looking to make our pro debut, and let's get right into that. We picked our first gym, and now it looks like we have to pick our first fighter to fight. Right here, we're walking through the negotiations, and let's read it. When you choose to schedule a fight, you will be offered three potential fights depending on your current rank in the leaderboards and your manager's influence skill. Once you have chosen a fight, you can see the prearranged terms that your manager has negotiated. You can either agree to the terms and schedule the fight, start a manual negotiation, or go back to select another potential fight. If you choose to go into manual negotiations, you can edit the terms of the agreement and submit an offer. You will have three attempts to come to an agreement. If you fail, no fight will be scheduled and you will have to wait until the following week to try again. All right, I'm feeling good. We have three options here, Earl Rogers, John Robinson, and Robert Wilson. I'm not too sure who to go with, but I'm thinking, all right, it looks like Earl Rogers will be the opponent we're going up against first. I think we have a really good chance of whooping him. He is a five and seven fighter, 168 pounds, 181 centimeters slugger. So we'll definitely have to be on our toes there. Has potential to be a great boxer and he throws short combos in and out. Ring craft four star, let's negotiate this fight. I'm actually gonna see if I can try the negotiations this time around. I'm gonna see if I can get a 70% purse cut, fight insurance, no rematch clause. A home fight, yep, and let's see what he wants to say to it. Accepted. Okay, so we get a little bit more money. That's never a bad thing, especially when you're in here fighting for your life. But Lucas Dimitri now getting ready for his first fight against Earl Rogers. And let's see how the training camp is. So here we are in fight camp. And it looks like we are still at Turner's gym. So a $0 weekly sign up. And let's read exactly what the fight camp is all about. In fight camps, you will prepare for your upcoming fight by choosing one of three options training activities to level up your stats, media activities to gain more fame, recovery to regain energy used in training activities. So those are the three that we can do. Training, media feed, and recovery. Within training activities, there are nine different sessions to choose from. Each type of session will work towards leveling up your boxing stats. The amount of XP you will earn depends on your coach's skills and gym level. One session will count for a week of your fight camp. Within media activities, there are seven different sessions to choose from. Each type of session will work towards gaining more fame and sometimes money. One session will count for a week of your fight camp. All right, so it looks like media is important, but obviously training is gonna be the most important thing. And we're gonna wanna recover right before the fight. So if you guys have played some Undisputed Champs, you kinda get the gist of this training camp. So let's get right into it and it should be week one training. I think I might go defensive sparring. I think that's the main thing I wanna get up is my defense. So we're gonna do one week of defensive sparring. I think we'll do another week. I'm under train right now, so we can kinda of see at the bottom there. AD is charged up. We're under train on fight sharpness, and we're actually right in the middle of where we need to be on the weight. I am injured as well, so hopefully I'll be able to recover from that moving forward. And let's see what else we can upgrade. We can change our diet. We can do yoga, speed bag for the speed, offensive sparring, a training dummy, jump rope, defensive sparring, speed bag for your reflexes, and a punch bag. I'm definitely going to do a punch bag. And I think it's time that we do some recovery. I'm looking a bit sluggish, but I do need to do some training as well. So hopefully with this next training, we'll be in prime condition. I'm going to do some jump rope. And then we are ready to fight. And here comes some recovery as well, which will get us all the way back up to 95. And here we go. That was our first training camp in the book. Nothing too difficult, but let's run through it real quick. Defensive sparring for the first week, punch bag for the second, a jump rope for the third, and we just did recovery for our fourth and final week. No injuries, we're healthy, we're in weight at 164. We're charged up with 95 energy and we're fight ready with 95% fight sharpness. Let's go out there and whoop this dude's ass, man, I'm ready. Earl Rogers has no idea what's coming to him, and honestly, let me know what y'all think of this game down below in the comments. There are some glitches and bugs that still have to be worked out before it comes to console, so I don't think it's gonna be coming to console for probably another year. That's my prediction, but let me know what y'all think. Here we are, 
in somebody's back gym. I might even share where we're at, but hopefully I can get up out of here with this victory. There's no rematch clause on this one, all so right. hopefully I'm we get the victory the and keep I want moving you to forward. Yourself at all times, and what I That's the main goal. Obey. Good luck. Land our punches. Look at this dude, bro. He look mean, too. He look ready. But so am I. It's that time. Let's go out here and get this victory. Oh, this camera is not a good camera. Good slip. We're going to have to really just work our punches. I'm looking to throw that jab, though. That's one of our main punches. Given our reach advantage, the jab will be landing nicely every single time. Let's step off the center line. Looking for a nice little jab right hand. I need to go back to that orthodox stance. They always start me in southpaw for some reason, even though I'm not a southpaw fighter. It's a bit weird. And we did read that this fighter was going to be going for some in-and-out looks, Earl Rogers. So we will be looking to counter that. Kind of staying on our back foot. Won't be able to reach us. There we go. Beautiful combination as well. Lucas Dimitri looking to spaz on him. Good jump back and a good slip. Looking for the jab now and a beautiful left hand. Almost a pull counter as well. Looking to land that pull counter straight. Oh, almost hits him square on the chin. Yep. Straight. Oh, beautiful punch. Look at my head health as well. I'm going to really have to keep my hands up if I want to be able to stay on my feet. Because Earl Rogers, I almost called him Earl Spence, he has a lot of really good power in his hands. But there we go. He's a slugger. So we know what to expect. Those big time punches. And we're also just trying to watch our stamina because this is a four round fight and not a three round like we were fighting in the amateurs. So that's three extra minutes that we have to worry about. And I'm kind of fighting on the back foot. But I mean, this is part of my game plan. I'm not a fighter that really wants to go back and forth and brawl with a bunch of opponents. I'm going to fight smart. And I'm looking to go undefeated my whole career, right? Floyd Mayweather fights this way the best. Pretty much defense first. And earlier on in his career, you know, they called him Pretty Boy for a reason. He was flashy and he had knockout power. So that's what we're looking to replicate, honestly. And as we keep going through the career mode, I'm sure our defense will get better and better. So don't worry if you see me taking a couple punches now. Beautiful slip. And there he is getting rocked in the end of the first round. That's what I'm saying. They're saying <laughs> bad defense on the first round. But what a first round. Keep it up, but stay on guard for sure. Okay, looks like they are going to be using that straight. Keep your guard up and feel their movement pattern. They're looking for the straight. They said keep your hands up. That's the main thing coach is saying is keep your damn hands up, Luke. So we will do. And now we're looking just to use that jab. Maybe that straight as well. Beautiful one, two. But he's throwing a lot of good body punches. Power punches to the body. So we're going to have to really make sure to keep our hands up. And especially when we get close, we're going to want to go blocking down low. Beautiful combination, but we're going to have to keep our head on the swivel now. Lucas Dimitri looking for a combination, maybe landing, and a beautiful one. Good slip and a good straight right to the chin of his opponent. But our head health looking pretty low now. Looking to move now, just keep it moving too. Head health very low, and I think Earl Rogers has a bunch of power in his hands. Good slip. It's gonna all up. It's all about the head movement. I'm a bit tongue-tied trying to put it all together here on this game because Earl Rogers is moving forward on us. Good jab. Another good jab. Beautiful. And he could go down here, and I think he might. Looking to change up the levels, elevations. Looks at the body. Beautiful. Knocking out the mouthpiece with a flush right hook. Right to the jaw. I didn't even expect that one myself. Boom. Crushes him with a beautiful left. Right to the body. And he sets him up for the right hand up top. One more time. Let's see it again. And he goes for a finishing blow right to the face. And hopefully he does not get up from that one. This opponent we're facing right now has a lot of power in those hands as well. So I'm really hoping he doesn't get up. I don't want to see him again. Eight. And he's back to his feet at eight. No surprise. These people have some will to get back up to their feet. Lucas Dimitri, though. I'm going to stay up. I'm going to gas. But I'm not going to overexert myself and put myself in a bad position. But like right there. See, I'm taking too many punches to my face. And I'm going to make sure to not even come close to those. Looking for the body now. Beautiful combination. Maybe trying to set him up with a good little one-two. A jab and a straight to the body, stepping back, staying out of range, a good slip, and a beautiful left as he backs up. 
out of range, blocked into the body. Earl Rogers is looking to rock me right now. Offense. Oh, that was just perfect. Great knockdown at this stage. They got nothing to lose, so don't get caught out. Will do, coach. Let's go. Pretty much stay up on my P's and Q's. Make sure the offense is looking tidy, looking fire, and stay up on it. Beautiful combination now. Looking for the body and a great left hook to the mouth as well. I mean, we're just setting up some combinations now, nice and easy. And me personally, I'm only going to throw probably about three punches in a combination. I don't really have anything more than that. And if I start throwing more punches, I'm going to start draining a lot of my stamina. Oh, a beautiful... What? A check left hook drops me straight to the canvas. And I'm not sure if I'm getting up. Dropped in his first professional fight, Lucas Dimitri. A beautiful left hand. I did not see that one coming. And he was not lying. My coach said to stay on my P's and Q's. And I will have to do that in this fight. Now I'm rocked. And I'm not looking good. I need to come back though. Here we go. Perfect. It was that left hand, man. Check left. Bad news. There we go. There we go. Yup, staying in it. Lucas Dimitri, look at his knees, man. He's wobbling a bit now. Good counter. Step back. Come on. Where's that counter straight? Woo. Good slip. Good jab as well on the way out. We're going to need to keep fighting like this on the back foot. I'm a bit nervous, but I'm not going to fight like it. A beautiful uppercut. And it could be over now. Looking for the body punch. There it is. Another one. Great to the face. Uppercut. Staying on the pressure. Beautiful combination. Oh, and he almost cracks me with a left. Get back, get back, get back. Oh, my goodness. Almost got knocked out. Good jab and a beautiful uppercut. Just missing, though. Great slip and a great straight counter. Beautiful body shot. Puts him right down to the ground. Gave him something to think about. And he definitely will not want to come back from this one. I should have flustered him, though, with a straight punch to the mouth. I don't think he would have got up. He's holding that liver or maybe that spleen on the left side. And Rogers is now thinking about getting up. But we'll find one, out if he can. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven eight, eight, nine. nine. Of course, he got back up to his feet after the count of nine. But we're going into this last round, and the coach is saying, don't get knocked out. We're winning this fight pretty much cleanly. Every single round, we got him. And even though he dropped me in that last round, we dropped him as well. So we still have a 10-8 on the score sheet. Lucas Dimitri has a lot to fight for, his whole career ahead of him. And I mean, I don't want to go out in our first fight with a loss. So being that this is our first pro fight, we have no fans here, just the corner which I really do like. Look at them back there. You can literally see everybody that we chose to be in our corner. That's it. They're in a corner. That's the way it should be. UFC might have to take some pointers from that, which I really like. But, I mean, only two minutes left in this fourth round, and we're still fighting. Looking for the knockout now. Good slip. Keeping that head on the center line. That's definitely not what you want to do, especially against a fighter like Earl Rogers. In and out type of guy. Looking for a straight body punch. No luck. The stamina is drained. But I'm not even complaining. Looking for a good combination now, and it's going to have to be. Yup, good movement, good footwork. Footwork will win me some championships for sure. Oh, beautiful body punch. Now Earl Rogers looking for a knockout maybe, but no luck. Good step back. Good combination. Ooh, good slip. Beautiful body punch. A straight right to the abdomen. One more. A good left hand. I'm going to throw them hooks probably to end this round here, but I don't want to get caught by Earl Rogers. Got to watch that straight, move around, move away. Good slip. Beautiful punch to the body as well. There it is. Good head movement. Looking to block low. There it is. Good block. Good combination too. A jab straight to the body. Looking for a left hand, but the stamina is low. Having to back up now. Lucas Dimitri hanging on by a wire. This one could be a decision victory. And I would not be mad at it. Beautiful combination to end the round. And that is the end of the fight. Lucas Dimitri with a unanimous decision. I'd be surprised if the judges thought otherwise. That's the way it's done, though. And hopefully, I know we don't have to fight this guy again, but hopefully our next fight will be a knockout against an even better opponent. All right, let's get up out of here, though.
go to the fight rewards and let's see exactly what we got let me know though down below how long do you guys want these videos to be you want three fights in each one maybe i'll do four fights do you want it just had a time limit because honestly, I think if we keep the metric of amount of fights, it will be even better. It'd be a little easier to make these videos. So $2,700 in the bank from that fight. A great win, unanimous, of course. And 28 fame gain and a staff XP of three. Here's my WBC, IBF, WBO, and my SCI, Still City Interactive rankings going up. And here we go with the coach rating tutorial. Your coach will rate your performance at the end of each fight. This is to help you improve. The coach rating is broken down into six different areas. Offense, how well you manage your offensive game. And defense, how well you manage your defensive game. We also have accuracy, how many punches landed. Damage management, how efficient you dealt with your health. Result, what was the final result? Opponent rank, your opponent rank compared to your own. The better your coach rating is, the more affinity you will earn to unlock traits. A higher affinity rating will also help you secure a favorable deal during coach contract renewals. And in that first fight, it looks like our opponent rank was an A, our offensive B, our defensive B, accuracy A, damage management A, and results an A. So coach affinity going up by 12 and our overall rating being an A. A great performance, and let's keep moving forward. It looks like we can choose our next fight. Oh, no, we can't. We have to simulate the next week to be able to choose the next fight. But I mean, look at that. Back down off the sharpness, and let's see exactly what I'm looking at. Fight camp review and recovered from a minor injury. And here we are. It's that time. Getting ready now to schedule our next fight. And I feel like Robert Wilson is the one to choose. The wild one. 12 wins, 6 losses, 2 draws, age 21. He's a southpaw from L.A., a slugger as well, and he's a body hunter. So we're going to have to really keep our distance, and if he gets in close, we're going to have to block that body. But let's go to the negotiations. He wants me to get 57% of the purse. I'm going 65. I'm only going to fight unless we're getting 2,500. No rematch clause. I like it. Home fight. Nope. But you're going to have to give me more money unless you want me to come out there. He denied me, but he came back with a counter offer. And I don't think he likes 65%. So we'll try 60 and see how he feels about that. Yep, accepted. And the fight is on. I really do like this feature, being able to make my own fight and negotiate it myself as well. But here we are. I'm only a 49 overall. I thought I'd be a lot better than that, especially in my amateur circuit. I really was showing up to show out and we are actually overweight right now so we're gonna have to really lose some weight we're coming in at 169 hopefully trying to get to 165 by the end of this training camp and of course defensive sparring no doubt i think i'm gonna keep doing defensive sparring this is probably one of the most important things to be able to do and we're actually gonna do some training on the jump rope right before our last week. It is now the last week. And of course, we got to do some recovery to be ready for this fight. And here we are done with the training. We had defensive sparring back-to-back -back weeks. Really making sure we get Floyd made with the stats. Got that jump rope for the conditioning. A little bit of weight loss. And of course, some recovery to get us right. We're looking at 168 right now. We're barely on weight. I'm talking about barely. We're at the very top of it. So hopefully we come in at 168. And he comes in at lower than 168 because we really want to use that weight to our advantage. He is a body hunter, a body snatcher, whatever you want to call him. So we're going to have to block low and block often. If we allow too many of those punches, I think it's going to be a quick night for Lucas Dimitri. I am going to fight, though, with all my might. And you know exactly what I'm here for. We're at the box burn. Mickey Ward's gym. Robert Wilson. Versus Lucas Dimitri. I'm 1-0 on the circuit. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling young. And I'm feeling fresh. Let's go out here and do it. Stepping back now. Just making sure to stay up on my the southpaw. So we want to obviously. Yep, there you go. It's working to the body already. Yep, good block. Beautiful. Good block. Yep. Come on. Come on, Robert. You're going to have to do a lot better than that, Rob. Beautiful. Yeah, we're throwing our own punches in as well. 
I'm going to keep moving. Put them hands back down. Get that stamina back. There we go. Beautiful. Almost hit him with a three-piece, four-piece combination. Robert Wilson has no idea what's going to hit him today. Beautiful left, but we're looking to block the body, and there it is. Another great block. Beautiful left. Right to his jaw. Robert Wilson don't know what he saw. Don't mean to rhyme so often, but I mean, good left hand. Trying to block now. He might try to go to the body. There it is. A good block. Whew. Robert Wilson has a lot of power. And a beautiful right hand. Right to, right to the liver, maybe, that was. It's pretty quiet in here. No fans. Good block. Keep them hands ready. Keep them hands by your side, Frank. Ooh, good body punch. Really good uppercut, but it should have clipped him, man. How does that jab pop his head back and the straight uppercut don't pop his chin back as well? Ooh, he hit me with a strong body punch, and I got to be ready for that, man. My body health recovery is not going back up, which is really nerve-wracking in my opinion. But a beautiful punch rocks him, and I mean, we got to put him down here. We got to put him down. Come on. Beautiful combination. Sits him straight back after four punches to the body. A beautiful combination. I mean, beautiful. He had no idea what hit him. The uppercut, straight to the uppercut to the body. And that's what put him down as well. Two uppercuts to the body, sends him straight back. And look at his hands above his head, not knowing what hit him. Lucas Dimitri is bad news today. I really One, do enjoy this career two, mode. It's pretty fun. Three, four, and the graphics make five, it even more six. enjoyable. And he's up at five, even though they counted to six. I didn't see it go up on my screen. So I guess it was a count of five. And the bell saved him as well. My offense from the coach. Great shot to put him down. They felt that all right. Stay on alert. It's only the first round. What a first round. Keep it up, but stay on guard. Will do. Right now, we're pretty much fighting exactly how I wanted to fight. Come in, block the body, make sure he doesn't hit us there. And we'll get up out of here with this victory. Oh, beautiful punch from Robert Wilson. Comes right up with a beautiful uppercut to the body. And he clips me. But a beautiful... Little pullback counter left hand from Lucas Dimitri. Let's Wilson know that this is not going to be an easy fight, that's for sure. I got to come back with that straight. That pull counter straight might put him out. We'll see if I can land it, though. Beautiful. I came just with the straight at the perfect time. Looking for the body now. Let's work. Good block. And he's looking tired. But so am I. Jesus. Crazy punches right now when I'm tired. I keep that... Stamina going back up and keep them hands up as well. Any punches that we allow in could be catastrophic for Lucas Dimitri. A good block to the body and a beautiful combination as well. Jab to the face, straight to the body. Knowing exactly how to hit the body right and knowing exactly when to throw those punches. Keep that head on a swivel off the center line and make sure to block that body. I got to keep telling myself that just in case because he will keep throwing them power punches to the body. Good jab, and a right hand misses. Oh, a good body uppercut. Almost puts down Dimitri. I'm staying on my back foot, though. And he's a patient fighter. I'll give him that. But I don't know if he'll be able to beat me. I'm going to go southpaw here. Good jab. Oh, the straight punch. Nowhere near it. Oh! And Lucas Dimitri could go down here. It's not looking good. He runs up on his body, and I'm looking to block it right now. If I can make it through this round, I got it in the books. I got this fight in the books if I can make it through this round. It's not looking good, though. A good block. Ooh, and a beautiful punch straight to the body. A left hook. And here he is again, Robert Wilson. I'm holding on for dear life right now. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to have to really just use my defense. Like my coach is saying, do I don't have too much stamina, let alone too much health. So my defense will have to prevail in this fight. It might get a little bit boring, but trust me, I'm looking for the counter knockout. That's the only way I'm going to win this fight right now. I don't feel very confident in my offense at the moment, given that Robert Wilson is able to deliver these huge body shots in the attack. But he's looking pretty tired, looking to jump back and just stay on a pivot. Oof. Comes in with that left hand. Oof, man. Yep. Keeping them hands low. Good defensive fighter and a good jab from Lucas Dimitri. Another good jab. 
beautiful body punch and a good left hand as well and a good way to move his feet, keeping on with that center line and just rotating away from that body uppercut that Robert Wilson has been throwing all fight. And a beautiful jab left hand as well, coming in and hitting him flush. Jab right hand, but we got to keep blocking that body. Oh, my goodness. Robert Wilson is still looking for them ribs, and he will have them if he has the chance. A beautiful jab lead hook as well. That's probably one of the best combinations that Lucas Dimitri has. Looking for three hooks now, missing all of them, or maybe a couple getting blocked. And a beautiful left hand comes in for Robert Wilson. He could be down. Two body shots, and they call him the body snatcher. It looks like Lucas Dimitri is on his P's and Q's. And look at those, pot, those punches, man. Some baby arm. Look at those. One, two. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. They got to come across the guard in this game. I'm sure there's things that they can work on going forward, but I think this was the last main update for Undisputed. A great knockdown, though, from Lucas Dimitri once again. One, those body two, punches, man. Once three, you get them rocked, four, if you go, uh, five, uh, on them low six, body punches, it's pretty seven, much over for your opponent. Eight, nine, nine, and he's back on his feet at eight. Man, this dude is a warrior. But here we are. Run up, run up. Beautiful combination. And it could be over for him. It looks like it will be. The end of the round. Run up on him, run up on him. Oh, my goodness. Party fail. Party fail. That's not what you really want to see to end the round there. But, I mean, rocking him twice is exactly what we need to see. I would have liked to finish, but I'm not going to complain, of course. I'm going to switch back to the orthodox. No surprise. Beautiful combination. And we're just going to look to throw that jab straight punch. Either the jab straight or the jab left hook. Beautiful. The jab straight touching him up right now. Bad news when it's thrown. Good slip. Keep the head off the center line and a good pop of the jab. Good slip now and a good... Jab as well. Let's make sure we keep looking for the knockout. That's the main goal of Lucas Dimitri's career. I wanted that knockout so we could go and pretty much boast a, a perfect fight, perfect knockout ratio, but a beautiful combination ends up dropping him straight to his back, having no idea. A beautiful jab straight right to the left hand, knocks his head off the center line. I mean, look at his face, man. Oh, let's see it one more time. Beautiful jab. A beautiful straight. The straight punch almost knocks his lights out alone. And the left hand comes in and puts him down to the floor. This game is beautiful. There's only a couple things. And I'm not going to talk about them all video. But like I was One, saying earlier, two, those hooks that three, don't get around the head four, or the uppercut five, sometimes six, doesn't track the same seven, way. There's just eight, minor things in this nine, game that can make it amazing. Points the little, little patches, you know. But a great knockout victory from Lucas Dimitri. I'm not very much surprised. I know exactly what his ability is, and I know that I'm looking for the knockout every time I come out here. But a great victory from Lucas Dimitri. And let's see exactly what the fight rewards were for a great performance. Let me know if you want to see me play any fighters online as well. I do be playing this game online, and I think now that it's back on the rise, it might be that time to get back online in the circuit. I'm not the greatest, trust me though, but I got enough skill to feel like I can showcase these fighters well enough for everybody that wants to see them. But here we are with $1,800 in the bag, 20 fame, and four staff XP. Moving up two in the rankings in the WBC, the IBF, and that's pretty much it. My opponent rank was an E. It didn't seem like that. Truly, it did not seem like that. He came with some really good punches. My offense was a B. My defense a B as well. I got to keep moving forward on those. My accuracy an A. Damage management an A. And my result was an A. My overall rating came down to be a B. Not really what I want to see when it comes down to it. But we got to keep moving forward. And here we are. It's that time now for hopefully our last fight. They're saying I can fight Earl Rogers again. For 4000 Now, I'm not too inclined to do that. And I've already fought John Robinson, if I remember correctly. Evo Balo. A 57 overall ranked fighter. Good stamina. Not the greatest amount of health. So that's how we're really going to go out here and get the victory, I think, with a knockout. He's a swarmer. Middleweight. 165. Orthodox fighter as well. With a four-star ring craft. 
He has the potential to be decent. So if we let this guy knock us out, I'm going to have some serious issues. I'm not going to lie. All right. I think I'm going to take 75% of the, the purse. That's just how I feel. So let's go for it. And he's not liking that at all. He doesn't like that I'm taking 75% trying to be a little greedy. But I mean, I'm out here fighting for my life. All right. And he accepts it at 70%. So the fight is on. At Seven Hills Club, it's that time to get ready for the fight once again. We're at Turner's Gym. Still not really where I want to be. Trust me. It really isn't. But let's do some, let's do some yoga. We never really know what he's going to come in with. And we are very much overweight. So we'll go for a diet change. And I think we can do a speed bag. Maybe to get us into, we're going to be overweight? Oh my goodness, we are overweight for this fight. I'm overweight coming into this fight. Not what I expected and definitely not what I wanted to see. I didn't think that it wasn't going to allow me to make weight, but I guess the fight that I selected, I had to make a certain weight that I just couldn't. I don't know how it's going to affect us in this fight, and I definitely don't know how it's going to affect our money when we win it. We probably will have to forfeit most of the purse, but as long as the fight can continue, I'm ready. Do it. And here we are, let's go. I'm not really sure, they call him one punch, so to speak. That might be his style, but he is a swarmer as well. I don't know why they call him one punch, but it might be because he has one punch knockout power. And if that's the case, I'm very nervous. He's throwing some good uppercuts already. And he's moving forward, exactly what I thought he would do. And a good counter punch, but wow, that body uppercut almost sat me back down. Ebo Balo. Now coming out at me in a great counter punch from Lucas Dimitri. And he's looking to land some of his own. Look at that head health though. We're going to have to really keep moving. We're getting pieced up. He's got good power in him hands. And we don't have the greatest health. Good jab. Good slip. Good counter. We're going to have to fight this fight just like that. If we take too many punches, it's going to be fight over for us. Good slip, man. He saw that straight punch coming in a while ago. He saw that straight punch coming in before I even threw it. He's moving forward, that's for sure. Good slip with the footwork alone. Keep the stamina high, Frank. Keep the stamina high. If you want to just not get knocked out, you got to keep your stamina high and keep your guard up. Woof. Man, he is throwing these punches. It's all about the footwork, all about the footwork. Keep moving. Good jab, good jab, but he came with a beautiful left hook. Oh my goodness, I'm not gonna keep trading with him. Good counter punch. He's moving his head really good, this cat that I'm fighting right now. Pretty evenly fought first round, I think. <clears throat> I have a cut on my eye right now, so it's going to be a bit tough to stay on my P's and Q's. They might have gave that one to him. I'm going to keep moving forward. Oh, my goodness. I could get dropped here. I could get dropped very well. Let's go. Yeah, keep moving forward. He took about four or five hooks to the mouth, and that's exactly what I want to see. I mean, we can't throw too many punches, and we got to really just keep our guard high, let our block let our health, head health keep improving. Because if we take too many punches, it's pretty much over. Oh, and he's down. He could be down. Put him down, Frank. Beautiful. Come on, Ebo Balo. I don't know this man. I don't know this guy. He's acting like he's the greatest to ever step on the planet. But a beautiful combination. I mean, we went body, body, body three times and he left himself open for a monstrous hook to the top of his face. If he lets us throw it, we're going to throw it there. Especially with that stamina boost. When you have him rocked, it's almost over for your opponent. We'll find out, though, if he can get up. I think One, he will. Two, He's an African man. Three. Getting up now. Strong-willed. Up at eight. And we'll find out if he can still skate. Let's see how it goes, though. Lucas Dimitri looking to move in. And I'm looking to have the same game plan. Woo! Way to stay on the pivot and get back out. I'm going to have to really watch my hands and watch my chin. That's the main thing. Watch his punches coming in. A beautiful counter left as well. And he's looking to tag my body up. I'm going to have to go body, body. 
Little one-two counter punch. I like it. Little jab, straight action. No way Ebo saw that one coming in. Another jab. And a beautiful jab as well, again. Just staying up on it. Good slip and a great counter punch. And he could be down. I'm thinking he's down here. Really? Beautiful. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Even when you think he won't get it, I got to stay up and stay prevailed. Beautiful body hook. Body uppercut, maybe I should say. A great jab as well. Coming right up with that hook. Drops the man straight to the floor. And a great body punch to keep this fight moving forward. I'm not sure if he's going to get up from that. But I hope he does. I want to keep this fight going. But I'm not mad at a great knockout. I will not lie. I'll take it, honestly. Eight. Nine. And he gets up at nine. All right. That was just perfect. Great knockdown at this stage. They got nothing to lose. So don't get caught out there. Will do, coach. And I definitely will try not to. It's that time. Ebo. Let's see what he's talking about. Just say, don't get caught. Don't get caught. That's what I'm saying. Like, he can't get us if we on our P's and Q's. So we'll wait for him to throw some punches. He's a swarmer. That's exactly the type of fighter I like to fight. A type of guy where just throwing punches at you, trying to catch you missing. It's kind of like Canelo Alvarez. Every time I face Canelo Alvarez online, or I hate going against him, excuse me, because he's able to swarm you. And if you have a good fighter that can swarm you, it's bad news. But Lucas Dimitri is the type of fighter, just like Roy Jones Jr. to be a counter fighter first, looking for the power punches. All for the counters, and there it is, a beautiful three-punch combination, trying to go for the body, but he slides off to his right. Good punches. This guy kind of looks like Flay Mayweather or, um, what's his name, Bronson. Or Adrian Broner, excuse me. But good jab now to the mouth. I mean, the jab cannot knock out your opponent, but it will open him up for a lot more if you allow it to. He's not wanting to come towards me. This is a different type of fighter now in this third round. He's been put down twice, and I don't blame him for wanting to fight on the back foot. Blocked to that body when he can't reach my face. Yup, good push, but I'm staying back. Keeping my distance, staying on the back foot. Using that jab. Good right hand coming right back at his face. Good slip. Wow, good push. I got to learn how to do that. That's probably one of my favorite moves in this already. Good combination, three-piece, and he's throwing uppercuts. Looking pretty mad here. I'm going to have to stay on my P's and Q's, though. This fight is not over. Good jab and a good slip. Great left hand coming right back at him. And the straight punch almost broke through that guard as well. All right, here we go. I need the round of my life. They're saying they're still in good shape and don't get knocked out, and we win this fight. Even if I get dropped, we win this fight. Look at the score sheet. 10-7 in a second. It's bad news for everybody that steps in the ring with Lucas Dimitri. A little three-piece. Woo, good slip. Keep it back, keep it back. Stay off. Three-piece combination. Beautiful. We're going to have to keep throwing those punches and make sure our hands keep landing heavy. Oh, I got to get a clean punch. If you get a clean punch, it's bad news. But look at my head health. For these probably last two minutes, I'm just going to fight on the outside and just fight smart. I mean, I could get the knockout. I want the knockout, of course, but I mean, I'm not gonna force anything. Forcing a knockout in this game is disaster. Forcing a knockout in a fight is disaster. It really has to come to you, unless you're just one of those guys. You just walk forward and get the knockout, but that's not Lucas Dimitri, you know? I'm more of a strategic fighter, and I don't gotta knock out everybody to win every fight. That's the truth. This dude's definitely gonna wake up tomorrow and feel some type of way, especially after getting his backside whooped like this. It's a bad news type of affair when you come in here and fight Lucas Dimitri, especially when he's feeling himself. Oh, good slip, though, from Balo. And he's still a good fighter. I mean, he's ranked pretty high. I think he might be ranked a couple spots below me, but his overall was a 59. Much higher overall fighter than I was. Probably four or five overall. So to come out here and have the showcase that I did, I'm proud of myself. Didn't get the win necessarily. But, I mean, we still had a knockout today. Good little combination. A good slip back as well. We're making sure to stay on our P's and Q's. Moving around to our right now. Just keep it moving. And keep that jab ready. Good jab. Good jab again. Good slip. 
Beautiful combination, maybe to end it. And I don't want to get knocked out here. And that is the final bell. Of course, a unanimous decision for Lucas Dimitri. A bit of a cut above the eye, but no surprise, he gets the win. Surely, he'll get a victory in the next episode. And I think that might be our last one for this one. Let me know, though. Do you want more fights? How many do you want? Just make sure to let me know down in the comments. I will be reading them for the suggestions. And I do appreciate all the feedback on the channel. But I think it will be time here to end this one off. I'm just waiting for this screen to come through. Cecilia Bracus. Here we go, though. The rankings, we haven't moved at all. We, that was pretty much just like a, a hold-me-down fight, essentially. C, damage management. Okay, interesting. A, results. A, accuracy. A, defense. Finally, B, offense. And E, opponent rank. Next fight. I definitely will be looking to move up in the ranks, fight fighters higher than us, and take names. With that being said, though, thank you for tuning in. It's been Frank in the Boxing Ring with Lucas the Myth Dimitri. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe, y'all.